Welcome back. All right, so normally I would say morning all because it's the first video of the day. However, this is not my first video of the day. Uh, my first video of the day was actually on my other channel. So uh, one game tonight in the National Hockey League as the, the evenings get a lot um, quieter for me. Uh, but this one is going to be interesting. It's Boston and Toronto. So Boston, Dallas, Vancouver being the teams I root for, all three of them are still playing their series. Uh, hey, teams I root for don't make it easy. And Boston's definitely made it tougher on themselves by losing Game 5. Now they've got to win another one in Toronto. Now, Toronto doesn't win at home very often, which does kind of make me feel bad for Leafs fans for the amount of money those tickets cost and everything. Uh, but will they win tonight? They're going to have to do it without Matthews again, which I know everybody will dance and say, oh, that's easy without Matthews. Like, yeah, that's that's how it works. Take a 69-goal scorer out of the lineup, and it just makes everything better. Uh, but anyways, uh, the, the hate that Matthews gets is so weird. Uh, Boston leading the series three games to two. Uh, Trent Frederick, three goals. Really good physical presence for Boston as well. Marshawn was very quiet in the last game and was part of the reason why Boston didn't win that game. Three goals, five assists, eight points for him in this series. Uh, Pasternak. I think Toronto's done a good job of keeping control over Pasternak for the most part. Two goals, two assists, four points in five games. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, I think they've they've controlled them. So if they can continue to do that, they've got a chance. And of course, they have to solve Swayman, who has a 952 save percentage in this series. Uh, going into the last game, I think it was 955. So it's dropped, but not by very much. On the Toronto side, you got Mitch Marner, a goal and two assists for him. Bertuzzi, a goal and two assists for him. And William Nylander, uh, two games, no points for Nylander in this series. Uh, Wall, 970 save percentage, very good in the first game. One of the reasons I'm not overly emotional with this one, at least compared to the other two, is uh, whereas Dallas, I think, against Colorado, yeah, they might be able to move on. Vancouver against Edmonton, I can make an argument for Vancouver there. Uh, Boston against Florida, I, I can't. I just can't. I, I can't. So as difficult as it is to make an argument for Dallas against Colorado, I could try. Uh, Vancouver against Edmonton, I could do my best. Boston against Florida, I just, I can't. It looks like a worse matchup this year than last year, and Florida knocked him out last year. So, I I don't know. I don't know that I can make an argue for, argument for anybody against Florida. So, that's part of the reason why I'm not, like, really emotionally invested in this. I don't feel like there's this wide open door for the winner of this series to just crash through and, and move on to potentially a Stanley Cup. But we'll see. Uh, the Masterton finalists have been revealed. Uh, Freddie Anderson, dealing with a lot of health issues this year. Uh, comes out the other side pretty darn good. Plays really well down the stretch. And so we'll see if he gets it. I'm wearing the Coyotes jersey because Connor Ingram, I think, is a really good story. I think he's uh, shown some bravery and talking about all the, 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 the mental struggles he's gone through along the way and how he had to kind of reset and, you know, and then he ends up being an NHL goaltender. So it's a good story and I'm glad he's willing to tell it because for fans, kids watching this, it's important to know that pro athletes have some of the same struggles that others do. And Oliver Shillington of the Calgary Flames. You can't go wrong with any of these three players. Shillington, over a year between games that he played. Um, I've always liked Shillington. I'm really glad that he was able to come back. It took a long time. So whoever they pick, um, it, it it's fine with me. Uh, we'll see who ends up getting that award. After last night's loss against the uh, Dallas Stars, Bruce Cassidy not shy about calling out Alex Petrangelo over the penalty that initially was called as a five-minute elbow and then was changed to a two-minute roughing because he, he gloved Sagan in the face and basically saying Petro knows better, not knowing what he was thinking. And it is one of those dumb penalties. It's really obvious. The referee is definitely going to call it. And if you're looking to send a message to Tyler Sagan for something you didn't like that he did earlier in the game, that's not how to do it because, of course, then the Dallas Stars get the goal on that power play which ended up being the game winner. So things in Vegas, um, not necessarily as hunky-dory as they were uh, three games ago. And uh, we'll see whether or not Dallas can finish that series off tomorrow night in Las Vegas. Of course, I'll be here to report on it when that's, uh, when that's going on. And of course, that's the same night as Vancouver, Nashville. I'm going to be really stressed over the next 48 hours. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And then, of course, if Boston loses against Toronto tonight, then Game 7 is on Saturday in Boston. And what better way to have a Saturday night, Hockey Night in Canada matchup? Uh, I know it's not in Canada, but Toronto-Boston, Game 7, yeah, it, it sort of writes itself. Uh, Cody Hodgson, so a really good uh, story of a return, uh, sadly, does not last. 
uh, he has been forced to retire again. The malignant hypothermia that he was suffering with, the symptoms he had forced him to retire the first time, it returned. So uh, in the last game that he played, he played 13 games in the AHL. He was using heat, heat packs a lot and felt that uh, this just wasn't going to happen. So right from the start of that last game, he knew he was done. Uh, so his comeback falls short. But I, I have nothing but respect for a player in his mid-30s deciding to give it a shot. Uh, his numbers in the AHL weren't bad. They absolutely they weren't bad. And if he was able to keep that up, who knows, he might have been able to get a tryout for a team next season. But, of course, your long-term health is more important than an NHL career. So all the best to Cody Hodgson as he goes back into retirement. But he gave it, he gave it a really good effort, and uh, there's, there's, no, um, there's no shame in that. Uh, a lot of other players maybe don't don't try that comeback and decide to uh, just just keep it towards the the safer side of things. But he thought, you know what, I'll 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 take that risk and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so uh, in the playoff injury news part of things again, uh, Luke Shen is considered day to day with an illness. Remember, Matthews is an illness too. He's been out for a week. He's missing another elimination game. I think it's something a little more serious. But at any rate, uh, Shen, it's an illness. He's day-to-day -day for Nashville. They've called up Kevin Gravel. Gravel has NHL experience. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, one thing that I get a kick out of is when reporters are like, oh, like last night in the Vegas-Dallas game, uh, the question being asked of whether or not uh, Dorofiev being you know, in there, is it going to be tough? Well, no, he's an NHL player. Um, like, these are NHL players. This is what they're built for, so no. Uh, the, the spotlight on them in the playoffs shouldn't be a problem, and putting a guy in the lineup for the playoffs shouldn't be a problem. It is still at its core hockey. Yes, it's far more exciting. It's far louder in those buildings in the playoffs than during the regular season. There's a lot more media attention, but once that puck drops, it's still a hockey game. So uh, as long as players can sort of block out the noise and just go out there and play their game, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, that being said, it's easier said than done, right? But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.